Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Club by Chetan Snowy and today we're gonna review the Viper OS for the Galaxy S3 and 9300 and before we get started I would just like to say if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and once again don't forget to subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of 1000 subscribers really soon. So let's get into it. So it is another stock Android based ROM for the Galaxy S3 and 9300 and it seems like now only stock android based roms are coming out for the galaxy s3 and i don't really like it so so the rom comes with two launchers and first of all there is the pixel launcher which i love to use because of its simplicity and elegance and other is the google now launcher which looks outdated now as you can see it looks outdated now so let's go back to the pixel launcher and access to the google search is really quick you just press the google icon over here and you have the google search and it is really simple and really easy but you cannot change that if you don't like it as they are non removable widgets over here so you cannot remove them they are always there the rom also comes with the google dashboard or whatever it is called and it might work for you and you get cards over here and all so I haven't used this that much so maybe that's why they are not showing in my phone. Moving into the app drawer, first of all you see the audio effects app which is a simple equalizer app. It is not comparable to the Viper for Android but it is something and having something is better than having nothing right. So you have normal equalization and increasing the base and virtualization and also it is really small and nothing that great then you have the substratum app which we have seen in couple of roms and it is great because it gets you themes wallpapers and all so you can also download the boot animation font packs and sound packs so that is really great so the rom comes with the via browser as well and when i started using this rom i was confused that the rom does not come with the browser as normally browser are named browser or internet but then i remembered that via is also a browser and it is a pretty good one indeed so coming back to the via and uh, the via browser has a lot of functionality and you would really like the browser and i really like the via browser it is simply great so back to the app drawer and the rom does not come with google apps and you do need to flash them separately and i've already made a video about it it is really easy and link to the video will be right over here please do check it out if you want to install the google apps it is really simple moving on to the settings you have vanam over here and what is that you ask vanam is simply rom control and customization and it is not the largest customization options that i've seen but they are enough i think so you have status bar settings over here lock screen multitasking system and these are the options you have so you can change the traffic indicators if you want to change them and you have status bar items if you want to change the status bar icon and you have clock and date you have battery over here so you can change the battery style so let's see solid and gauge text icon portrait if you want to hide it so you have a lot of different method to show your battery status over here and you have the lock screen settings over here as well and multitasking so you have many different settings over here so you can customize once again you have substratum over here and you can go to substratum from here as well so let's talk about battery life it is not that great it might get you through the day but for me it is very steep hill so it is not giving me a great battery life but i think it is you know it is okay i think it would be okay for daily usage or the person who uses his device casually and not aggressive user if you want to say that and all the other settings are as expected nothing special over here so let's go into about device 
and you have a huge Viper OS logo over here and you get the latest Android version so that is really great and at last I would say that it is just another stock Android based ROM and there is nothing special over here but uh, if you want to use it give it a try and you might like it so these ROMs are getting boring now and I would just like if you let me know down in the comments which ROM you want me to review next and I will do that because these ROMs are getting really boring and all I see is stock Android based ROM for the Galaxy S300 and S300 so I think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys